guys, we are back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you a queue system that I made that you guys can use. So let's get started. By the way, the link to the model will be in the description, the description below. Um, so first you go to toolbox, then you're going to go over here to your models. You're going to find your model. Here it is, working queue system. And it's obviously, if you move over, so it's made by me. That's made by me. And now what we can do is I'm just gonna ungroup this and ungroup this, and you can delete README. And then um, starters, you're gonna ungroup this. You're gonna ungroup these in the respect of the, the places that they should be in. So workspace, starter GUI, service service, and replicated storage. Now of course we do have to move this down. So. For this, we're gonna have to like move it down so because this is the platform we're gonna teleport it to. So we should move it down to the ground right about here. Wait, right here. There we go. And just move all of them down. Also, most of, it's pretty much customizable. There's a few things I'll need to show you, but it's mostly customizable. Just try not to mess up any scripts unless I tell you you can. Um. So now that we've got them all on the ground, make sure that's working. Uh, and just as a quick uh, show and test, uh, as you can see, if we go into one of these, it'll put us in the queue, adds one, and then waits a certain time. Now, of course, for this, if you're going to have to save the game, so let's just do subscribe, save, and once it's done loading, you should be good. Wait for it to load. Now what we can do is go to game settings. Security and then um, third allow uh, wait no um, allow third party teleports that allow you to teleport through games. Also, just saying guys, this might not make any sense. This is made by like Roblox and stuff. This is just a safe teleport. You can also use this sometimes to carry data. I might make a throw on that. I don't know. Now, here's one thing you can edit. Now you can obviously edit the GUI to make it look good. So hold on, let's make this visible. As you can see, we have the exit button. You can edit this however you want. I'm just gonna keep it like this. And you don't have to change anything in here, but you do have to do it in the elevator. So if you go over here, let's just go to the one player. It doesn't have to be one player. Right here, this is the configuration. Whatever you want the number of players to be, you change it right here. So this would be one, two, three, whatever. So that's the number. And then what you can do is you can go over to the screen and you have to, um, I don't know, you can go in the script. And first things first, as you can see right here, you can do this if you want. But this is where you can change the time. So five is how many seconds. So if we change it to ten, when I hit play and I run it, I go over here to the number one. As you can see, it waits ten seconds instead of five. So you can do that if you want. I'm just gonna keep that five. Right over here is the um, place ID. So as you can see, um, what you can do is you can either make a place. Like you can make a totally different game, which I do not recommend. But what you can do, which is better, you make a game inside of your place, and you add a new place, and it'll make this place. And the good thing about the queue is whenever it teleports you, as you know when it oh, if you guys have developed before, you probably know whenever you get teleported into a game, a simple teleport once you're in the game, it does pretty much like more than one person can join. It's like until the server's full, people will just get sent into a certain server. However, this place inside of here, when it sends you, it will make a um, it only make like private to you, so no one else can join unless they were in the queue at that time. Which means you can only be in that server. So if you do one player, no one else is gonna end up in your server. Even though this is like a 50 player, um, even though these lobbies are like 50 players, it'll only send in one player into each game. Simple as that. So we have that. We can um, delete this if you want. We don't. I'm not gonna change too much. I don't think it, we're just gonna keep it as one, two, that. And then um, over here, you're gonna have to make sure you change a few things, I think. Where is it? Um, yeah, down here, as you can see right here, you're gonna wanna change this, I think. Because here, if we change this right here, config, I may have forgotten it because I made this uh, thing like maybe a while ago. I just I never uploaded it. Yeah, I was right. So, um,. If you change it, so let's just say we make this a five player lobby, okay? This is five players. It's still gonna say one player. So what you have to do is you have to go over the text. You um can't don't change that. The only thing you need to change here is this one digit right here. So one out of five players. So now when we hit play, 
it will add into your or it might glitch and won't make any sense one out of five players so there we go so um that is pretty much it it's a pretty simple thing uh, i'll show you a clip right now of it actually working so now we are in the game as you can see we are in the actual game if we go over here to one player i set the um, id to the place now if we load one and it's loading you can add a loading screen if you want, I don't care. I'm going to to load. And there we go. And it teleports us to the place. And yeah, as you can tell, hold on, let me get um, my alt account in here. Now if I try joining, I go over here and I try going into servers. Even if I try joining on um, my account, my main account. Hold on, it's lying. Hold up. I refresh it. Uh, here. Even if like, so because it's where you're like, they automatically are on 50 players. It will automatically, it will still keep it as like a private. So I go over here to one player. You would think normally it would just teleport me into the closest server and it do nothing. But as you can see, when it teleports me in, it will load in a second. Okay, there we go. And it'll make me my own place instead of putting it into someone else's server. So that is it for the video. Um, I will see you next time, guys. Peace.